It really is a pleasure to be here this evening to celebrate the phenomenal successes of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council and especially the reforms, but more importantly to recognize some of those who made it all possible are incredibly selfless and committed private sector partners and the sterling performance of many in the public sector. In the past three years, Nigeria has implemented more than 140 reforms to make doing business in Nigeria easier. Some of the successful reforms include the ability to reserve a business name within four hours, complete the registration of a company within 24 hours online, apply for and receive approval of a visa on arrival electronically within 48 hours, file and pay for taxes online, access to specialized small claims commercial courts in both Lagos and Kano states. The World Bank also reported in 2018 that 32 states of Nigeria improved their ease of doing business environment, led by Kaduna State, Enugu State, Abia, Lagos, and Anambra. In 2019, Perbeck set a goal to move Nigeria to the top 100 in the 2020 World Bank Doing Business Index. To achieve this, we will be pursuing the continued implementation of reforms across all indicators, including the implementation of legislative reforms, specifically the signing into law of the new Companies and Allied Matters Act and the omnibus bills that we've heard of, about already. The expansion of the regulatory reform program, which started with NAFDAQ and NICOM, now to include other regulators. The establishment of a national trading platform for ports and the concession of our major international airports. Quebec has now commenced the fourth 60-day national action plan which we simply describe as NAP 4.0, on ease of doing business. NAP 4.0 is running from the 1st of March to the 29th of April, 2019. It aims to deepen the reforms delivered over the past three years and to drive institutionalization of the whole reform process. We have highlighted key action items in all of the focus areas to ensure that they do not unravel and to ensure that we drive sustainability. Some of the targets achieved in the last NAP 3.0 include driving registration for utilization of the National Collateral Registry to facilitate access to credit for SMEs, clearance of all pending NAFDAQ registration applications to improve efficiency, and the creation of a strengthened single joint cargo examination interface in all airports and seaports for import and export to reduce the time spent at the ports. NAP 4.0 will focus on initiatives such as enforcing compliance with SLAs across all indicator areas, driving the passage of the CAM Bill 2018 for improved effectiveness of company law in Nigeria. And as you've heard, what we're waiting for is a signing into law. Enhancing efficiency in the small claims court and enhancing the application and approval of visas on arrival, to mention a few. The Council will continue to work extensively with all MDAs, the National Assembly, and other key stakeholders. All of us who have been involved in this incredible journey will agree that it has been both exciting and fulfilling, even if admittedly sometimes frustrating. But this is the way of progress. And I congratulate you all for all the great successes and thank you for keeping faith with our joint vision. In particular, we must commend the National Assembly for the great effort they, they made in ensuring the passage of very strategic and important bills. We must also commend our private sector partners who have contributed immensely to the technical output of the EB, of, of EBIS through the secondment of professional staff to our Secretariat. Let me specially mention KPMG Professional Services, Deloitte, Procter & Gamble, Banwo, and Igodalo, Alukwa, and Uyibodi. 
And the MBA SBL was also particularly instrumental in drafting of the Omnibus Bill. About 40 law firms worked pro bono towards this effort. Our nation is truly grateful to you all. We must also specially commend the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. O.K. Enilama, for his focus and forthright leadership, and the incomparable and tireless Senior Special Assistant to the President on Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale, and her team. <laughs> to the rest of us, I think we have demonstrated that the work of creating a world-class environment for commerce will be done by like minds in the Nigeria private sector and public sectors. And these are the exceptional ladies and gentlemen, such as yourselves, who form the Pebeck family. Well done, everyone. Well done to you all. Thank you. God bless you.